This <laughs> I wasn't gonna make a video about this. I, I let this shit go. But uh yeah, it's a post that I made on our Facebook and I got into this spat with this dude. Older dude. Looks like he's like in his mid forties going into his fifties. And he was just straight up simping <clears throat> for black women. It was it was just fucking ridiculous. And I have a real problem with uh with these niggas is talking about this black woman is God bullshit. I've been watching the conscious community since 06, 07, you know, when they came online around 08 and they was talking this black woman is God shit. And it never, ever, ever sat well with me. But this dude, and one of the things that he said, like he, he blocked me so I can't, I'm just going off of memory. He said something to the effect, um, the black woman is God. Um, nature is female. Therefore, the black woman is God. Something to that effect. And I, and I ate this nigga up. I was like, okay, just because people refer to nature as being female doesn't make nature female. That's like... You know, many people refer to their cars as female. So let me see. By your logic, since my car is female and female is God, therefore my car is God. Like, this. Was... and I was just eating this, eating his weak ass talking points alive. But um, <clears throat> this is what I, this is what. This is what um, Facebook had to say. It looks like something you posted doesn't follow our community standards. We don't allow posts that bully private individuals or harass anyone on Facebook. This could include altered images, photos, or videos of physical bullying or any other posts intended to degrade or shame a specific individual. Pacific, specific individual. Sorry about that. This is, this is what I wrote. Because this nigga was just... He was basically just dumpster diving, trying to get some burnouts. I said, this nigga dumpster diving for pussy. How pathetic does one have to be as a man to lower himself to that level? Then I mentioned his name. Nigga, you pathetic. You don't even believe the bullshit you talking. You live around and work with women. You know, uh, you know they aren't. They are not God, but you kick this bullshit because you're trying to get your dick wet. Just pathetic. And I'm like, dude. Before you niggas talking this black woman is God, and I hear many of these uber pro-black motherfuckers on here on YouTube and whatnot trying to kick this... Um, well, a black woman doesn't need a man to fucking reproduce because they can asexually reproduce. If I, I forgot the biological term or the biologic in biology, what it's called when a woman haphazardly asexually reproduces, but more often than not, when that whole shit takes place, the child dies. So the child doesn't even come to full term or, or isn't even birth because you need 23 other alleles from the father to actually conceive a child. So it's fucking ridiculous. And this is something that I've learned about older men, but not just older men because younger men Black men learn this shit at an early age. They learn that, you know, if I give an exorbitant amount of exaltation to the woman, that I can, on some level, 
maintain sexual access. So they do this, and this this type of behavior is indicative to why, you know, a lot of black men in the black community die. You know, it's like the old 50 Cent album. I mean, not album, but song off of the soundtrack to the movie Get Rich or Die Trying. He said, you know, when it rains, it pours. In my hood, it goes down over money and whores. Basically, you know, men try to attain money so they can get bitches. And, you know, when you get bitches, you get in altercations and people can lose their life behind that type of shit. And for the brothers out there, man, be, be very astute to identify these type of men. Because these type of men are very dangerous. They're, they're much so... <clears throat> Uh, look at them as like uh, the cru the Christian Crusaders who invaded um, Israel back in the day. They had a certain ideology, or I, you know, I, I look at them like um, the members of the Inquisition. More so, they're like the Inquisition. They will kill, torture, and maim you in defense of their ideology. And the ideology is that of female worship, black female worship in particular. So be very astute and, and vigilant to observe and identify these type of individuals. You're gonna run into them out there on your day-to-day -day comings and goings and whatnot. There's no way to avoid them, you know? They're, they're in your family, they're at your workplace, they're at your school, you know, they're in your circle of friends. There's no way that you can avoid them, but just be, just be careful. Keep, keep your eyes open, and when you identify one of these kind of brothers, and I use that word loosely, be sure that you protect yourself, and if you want to, you know, bring that brother to the quote-unquote dark side <laughs> you know or you want to convert him <laughs> use caution use caution because um friendly banter can go you know friendly banter can go to a serious discussion and a serious discussion can go to a possible violent altercation <clears throat> like uh, oh hold on <laughs> I guess this dude is flagging me for everything bro so uh so the dude he gets on he makes a comment talking about you know, 10,000 years ago in ancient Kemet, yada, 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 the woman was venerated as God. Therefore, woman, the woman is God. And so I respond to him. I'm like, y'all know how I do. Like, 10,000 years ago, nigga, fuck your Kemetic bullshit. You can take that hotep shit and jump off a bridge with it. Men build... Men maintain and men destroy. Take your woman worshiping ass to the doctor and get your vagina checked. You know, I was really going hard on this dude because I'm like, bro, you, you caping so hard for these women. And it's obvious what, what your intentions are. You just want some pussy. I'm like, dude. You want some pussy that bad? Nigga, just hop on back page and go buy you some. Be very careful. Be on your toes, brothers, when you engage 
men like this, especially the younger virile men, because, you know, they have essentially been indoctrinated into the uh, religion of the black woman being God. And with that religion doctrine, religious doctrine entails, one of the core tenets of it is that black men ain't shit and that niggas ain't shit, period. And what makes them more dangerous is, you know, for the most part, even though women can be dangerous in their own right, when they harbor these um, ideals of hatred towards black men and that niggas ain't shit, you know, <clears throat> the average to slightly above average man can fend them off for the most part. But when you're dealing with a uh, a man, another grown man who has this type of religious doctrine in his head that the black woman is God and that niggas ain't shit, you're dealing with another grown man, you know? It's kind of like when you go to the club or whatever, you go out to the bar or whatever, your local rum shop, rum shop or watering hole, whatever you want to call it. And um, the main people who are fighting are women. Women are quick to get into fights, you know, especially, you know, at least the, the trashy and tasteless ones because they, they know they can just get into a quick scuffle, get a couple scratches, you know, maybe pull a few tracks and whatnot, but no real damage will be done. Men, however, you know, for the most part, we think about that other man that's across from us that we could possibly get into a physical altercation with, you know, because that's another grown man. Me being a grown man, I'm well aware of the damage that I can inflict on another human being. And that man across from me, you know, he's a grown man as well. So he may or may not possess the capability to inflict the same amount or if not more physical damage than I can. So, you know, when you go out to clubs and whatnot, yeah, it might be some niggas that'll, that'll get the bumping and whatnot, but more often than not, it'll be women because the threat of injury isn't as prevalent as it is if you were to, let's say, get into a physical altercation with a man. And I say that to say to be mindful of uh, these black women is God type of men because they think like women. They think like women. They think that they cannot be touched. They think that they're always right and that they can do any and everything that they want to do and they can cross lines that shouldn't be crossed. The only difference is, is that they're fully grown men. It's, it, it's not okay for women to think like this, but it can be tolerated to a certain degree. Because, I mean, hey, the women, you know, two, three, four women approach me on some wheeze gods. The black woman is God. I can laugh at them and sit up here and argue with them and, you know, laugh them out the room without really being too concerned about them inflicting severe injury on my physical person. But if I run into a, another fully grown man who's around my size, you know, six, six feet and up, 200 pounds and up, but he's thinking just like them, and now I got a problem on my hands. You know what I mean? So, you brothers, be mindful when you identify these uh these type of men who adhere to this to this um religion of the black woman is God proceed with caution a lot of them 
they know that it's a crock of shit. They're just using it as a ploy to get some pussy. But some of these, some of these brothers out here are stone cold, stomp down, you know, zealots for this religion. So, uh, make sure you keep your holy water and your crucifixes <laughs> and your garlic and your, your wooden steaks. <laughs> keep that shit on hand, man. You know? That's all I gotta say for this vid, man. This is Benjamin D'Souza.